Hi, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. Let me show you the hydraulic system on your Nissan 370Z, 370Z Roadster convertible. Um, it may appear complicated at first, but it really is not that difficult. So let me explain. We have the uh, hydraulic unit, which this is actually the unit that is hiding under the storage compartment, under the soft top storage compartment. Here inside this uh, gray-green gray uh, foam housing is actually the hydraulic pump itself, whereas in the front is the soft top controller computer. And of course we have a bunch of wires going to the computer and um, we have wires and sensors going to the cylinders and we have hoses going to the cylinders. Now this pump is um, actuating eight hydraulic cylinders. The hydraulic cylinders have the following functions. Let's start uh, in this corner here. There is first the left storage lid drive cylinder, left side, and here's the right storage lid drive cylinder. These two cylinders always work in tandem, raising and lowering the uh, storage cover. And um, the fifth, re fifth or rear bow lock cylinder is mounted under the storage cover it locks down the uh, rear window section of your soft top and that rear window section is called the fifth bow or sometimes called the rear bow all the same thing so um, then there are the left and right um, roof derived cylinders or i like to call them main lift cylinders that actually uh, raise and lower the uh, soft top frame itself to lower it into the storage compartment or to raise the top again um, what moves the front flipping portion of the soft top and the rear bow at the same time are the left and the right um, fifth bow drive cylinders. They are mounted uh, above the doors, uh, kind of above the uh, window section of your top. You may have seen them before in action if you have um, left the top partially open uh, then you saw these exposed above the door windows and lastly we have the roof latch cylinder or top lock or front lock cylinder that is mounted in the front bow of your soft top and it uh, actuates a mechanism that locks the top to the uh, uh, front window frame the uh, status of all these cylinders gets read out mostly by sensors that are attached to the cylinders themselves. If you take a close look over here you can see a black thing clipped onto the uh, aluminum rail of the cylinder. That is actually a Hall effect sensor or uh, Nissan calls it a status sensor. The Hall effect sensor um, is a fancy solid state device that changes the amount of current it lets through depending on how much magnetic field is around it. Now it has a magnetic uh, a magnet built in and as the uh, shaft of the cylinder extends or retracts there, there is more or less ferromagnetic material in the field. If there's more ferromagnetic material in the field there's a stronger magnetic field. The soft top controller sends a modulated signal, meaning some fast pulses, to these sensors and it actually measures how much current comes back. If there is a lot of current, then um, we have a different magnetic field than if there is a little current. And we'll get into that in our separate diagnostic video in which we uh, show you how to read the status of all these switches if, if they're all working properly. It's all not that difficult, it just requires a little bit of patience uh, going through the uh, pinouts on the controller and reading the signals, but all of this is actually do-it-yourself fixable. Um, unfortunately, more and more manufacturers are moving over to um, forcing you to buy a whole hydraulic system for your car even if just a single hose is torn or a single sensor is bad or a single cylinder is leaking or there's a problem with the pump they tell you you need to buy the whole unit and rip everything out of the car replace everything well that's pretty silly and it's extremely expensive the good news is top hydraulics manufactures all the hoses for these for this uh, system 
and makes them far better than the originals. Top Hydraulics rebuilds the hydraulic cylinders for the system, makes them much better than the original ones. When the original ones are designed to last between 10 and 15 years, ours should last 30 to 50 years under similar conditions. Uh, same with the hydraulic pump. It does have some weak spots that uh, Top Hydraulics takes care of. And again, it should last uh, three times as long as the original one under the same conditions when uh, we're done with it. We offer core exchange on all these cylinders and on the pump for any single cylinder, for the pump, for everything together. We also, as I said, uh, make the hoses. So, um, what does go wrong with the system? Well, let's talk about it. Talk about the pump first. Uh, how does the pump work? It has an electric motor and it has a reservoir. The reservoir is, full, is filled with hydraulic fluid. It has a maximum minimum marker on it. Your hydraulic fluid level should be between min and max. If your hydraulic fluid level is below minimum with this pump being uh, um, horizontal on a flat surface, then you have a leak somewhere. If you have a leak somewhere, you need to fix it. The leak does not get better. It cannot be fixed with stop leak additives or silly things like that. You just have to really take care of the problem and uh, get it fixed. Um, what can go wrong in this uh, in the pump? Well, an electric motor can go bad, of course. There are lots of internal valves that can fail. There are the five solenoids, which is on top, that can fail. But uh, most commonly, it is internal components that wear out and fail. And uh, Top Hydraulics has better replacement components to put in there when we ship a pump to you. It performs better than a brand new one, and we're certain that the inside is better than a brand new one. We'll never make the outside look better than new, but uh, that doesn't really matter because it goes into this ugly form housing anyway. So what else is there? Um, most importantly, all the hydraulic cylinders in the system will eventually fail, leak. Why do they fail? Well, on average, these cylinders have seven seals in them. Doesn't seem that way, but that's the way it is. Um, there are um, wiper seals, there are gland seals, there are plug seals, there are port seals, there's a piston seal, and most importantly, of course, the uh, rod seal through which the shaft slides. Now, the most uh, common uh, seals to fail first are the ones that seal the attached that are attached to the cylinder housing like this plug on the bottom uh, frequently on the rear bow a lock cylinder you will first see the fluid the gap in the rear here saying how could that be I must have a leak from a hose and it's dripping down there no um, we oftentimes hear uh, that people want to buy o-rings to um, attach the hoses again to the cylinders doesn't make much sense because the o-rings uh, for the hoses are actually the last part to fail the uh, seals inside the cylinder for the um, plugs and the glands are made of polyurethane which is uh, unfortunately decaying over time that decay gets accelerated with heat or with the wrong fluid in the system top hydraulics uses viton for the static seals viton is a material with practically limitless uh, shelf life and it's inert to almost any liquid short of brake fluid and um, of course we also upgrade the rod seal, piston seal and uh, so forth making the cylinders much better than new. So what else can go wrong? There are the hoses. These hoses uh, were specified by the OEM or original equipment manufacturer uh, to just about do the job but not a whole lot more. Um, Unfortunately, they made the walls too thin in these hoses. The hoses don't necessarily burst, but they kink and wear where they flex. And uh, there are flex points all over this harness. The most typical hoses to uh, fail are the ones going to the rear bowlock cylinder hoses number 71 and 72, and the hoses going to the left and right uh, fifth bow drive cylinder those are hoses 23 24 21 22. these hoses um, as i said uh, where they flex tend to uh, break easily and um, there is no good way of patching them 
Um, you may hear patch kits advertised for these, but it doesn't quite do the job right for a long time. The right thing to do is put new better hoses in there. Top Hydraulics makes better hoses. Um, we put uh, better material in there. In particular though, we make the walls just a tad thicker and that little bit of thickness uh, will make these hoses last way, way, way longer than the original ones if as long as they're installed correctly. We will show you how to take hoses off the pump separately in a different um, video and how to install them on the cylinders. It is not that difficult to install new hoses. Don't let uh, this scare you. Hydraulics may sound foreign to you, but it's easy. It is just a pump, some hoses and cylinders. You can replace any one of these components. It's not difficult. We'll show you separately, step by step, how to remove all these components and put them back into place. One more thing I'd like to show you is here's the clean fluid in uh, a pump, the, the way it ships from top hydraulics, meaning we ship them filled with fluid. Once the pump is level, you'll see the fluid is between minimum and maximum marker. And um, we plug the ports so that no fluid can come out. We ship these pumps internationally this way. It's safe, easy, uh, and we, of course, ship them domestically. Um, what I'd like to show you is the old fluid in an older pump here that came back as a core to us. Um, notice how when you tip this pump, the black line stays in the same place. Well, that is sludge that has deposited on the walls because the old fluid in this pump is pretty dark. It's full of suspended particles. Those suspended particles are from the moving parts in the pump and mostly from decaying seals in the hydraulic cylinders. As the seals decay, uh, tiny portions of them uh, get ablated and suspended in the fluid and ultimately turn into sludge that deposits on walls and in other places. And um, having such dark fluid in your system is a sign that the system has uh, been taxed quite a lot, that the fluid is old and that you may get a failure fairly soon. You can uh, purge this fluid. It's not completely trivial, but obviously if you want to do preventative, preventative maintenance, you could siphon all the fluid out of this pump, then move the top uh, manually to basically pump the old fluid from the uh, old cylinders back into the reservoir and then siphon the fluid out again, do this a couple times, then fill with flu uh, new fluid and you have uh, fairly thoroughly flushed the system. It does not take care of the uh, cause of decay of these seals, but you can get a little bit more life out of your system if you do this kind of preventative maintenance.